Okay, so never a dull moment when it comes to mischief toys. In case you guys missed it, we have three New York Comic Con exclusives. We have a Blacklight Demonstro, a Blacklight Ghastly, and a Blacklight Gargoyle Ghastly. Incredible figures until you open the box on the gargoyles. We noticed a bit of a flaw in a couple of the ones that we had pulled out. It wasn't big enough for us to scrap the figures initially, but I found some with broken wings. It's fixable, you know, you glue a figure, it has a broken wing, it no longer has a broken wing because you glued it and everything's fine. But then we were shining our black light on them just to try to get pictures and everything and that's when we noticed that things were up. So right here I have like this weird graveyard of gas leaves that I've glued. They're not bad at all, as you can see. Like basically the manufacturer touched up with touch-up paint, it looks fine to the naked eye, but under black light, it glows really bright. But then, I found this. And as you can see, there is really f***ed up touch-up paint. There is like glue all over his wing. I, 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 I don't understand this at all. Like, I'm so beyond frustrated and we're literally two days from leaving. So our plan was to go through all 400 of these figures, see what we can scrap, see what we can keep. I want to say we've looked at about 100 of these figures and this is roughly, I want to say it's like 20 to 25 figures that are up. We've decided to sell another figure in its place and I hope people are satisfied with it because I, I, I hate that we already announced the gargoyle. We didn't really realize that there would be an issue with it. He looks great to the naked eye. The one we pulled out for photos looks phenomenal, but you dig deeper and you find problems. This sucks. So we've decided to put another figure up in its place and since it's Halloween, we have this guy. It's Possessed Ghastly. This guy is awesome. So here he is in all of his glory. He has been possessed by something very evil. Don't know what it is, but be careful around him. <laughs> So day one of the next Mischief Toys documentary. Hi! Hello. And we're here with the two stars of the documentary. Hello. It's me, Heather. Welcome. I was just telling Nick, I hope somebody buys these masks because we've had them for like 20 years now. Hey, Nick. Hello. Thank you for helping us at New York Comic Con. I wanted to gift you something. So we picked you the best of our gargoyle figures face down ass up <laughs> okay so this one is like one of the best that we have although you can hardly see it there's like a little tiny bit of touch-ups around his little spikes this is the best one we found of the bunch right yeah yes. yeah Ugh. this God. has been a nightmare okay so we were gonna debut our brand new boxes with these figures official Mischief Toys box is now mother But we can't do that. And by the way, Chris packed all 12 of these. There's 12 of them packed. That's all he packed. All of them are up. So are we ready for New York Comic Con? We're one day away from our drive. No. We're choosing things to give away at our event. And we found a lot of cool stuff. We have some AP Toxic Ghastlies right here. Quite a few of them. We have an AP Regular Blacklight Ghastly. We have an AP, Go well, a few AP Ghosts. Whoa. An AP Tiki. We have an AP Con Blacklight Ghastly. We have a First Run to Monstro. And we are also giving away two Possessed figures yay this one's interesting so this is a monstro and this is like a 
partial proto it's a sample so they sent them to us to sort of like make sure the colors are what we wanted and everything so we're gonna give this guy away which is pretty cool as you can tell he does have his teeth which is weird but he doesn't have like any color here he doesn't have his eyes he's super cool same thing with possessed they sent him to us so that we could see the colors that they chose then we have some regular protos we got a regular common we have a white one tiki proto glow glodo glow proto glodo you like that we also have a clear ghastly proto which is pretty darn cool and last but not least for the protos we have a gargoyle we have a ton of ap pins a ton something i'm super excited about is we are giving away one coven membership these pins these go with this guy so we're going to give the the uh person who wins the coven membership their their pins So are you excited for New York Comic Con 2023? Yes! We're making mischief again! We, we always make mischief, but this time it'll be in New York. So we call this making mischief again, or making mischief, comma, T-O-O. -O. I, I wish you would stop. So have you carried all uh, 650 pounds of your clothing out to the car yet? Yes, I did. All right, carrying out the last 400. Here we go. Is that a ridiculous amount of clothes or what? I don't know. Look, she's not here. You can say what you want. It's a lot. <laughs> so there's all the gargoyles that will not be sold for New York Comic Con. These are our new Mischief Toys boxes that will be going out eventually. Camera bag. A bag full of bags. All right, Heather, I'm officially helping. <sighs> yep. Wow, the one thing that Chris has done this whole time. And this is like the 50th thing that Nick has carried. Thanks, Nick. So, are we ready for our adventure? No, we still have stuff. What? We still have stuff. Fuck. This is the final walk. Do me a big favor. Hmm. Make sure that my pillow doesn't get all dirtied up. It's going with your shoes, so good luck. Here. Hats. Are you f how? I like to wear a different hat every day. And then here's my bag. All right, I think that's everything, right? Yeah. We gotta do one more pass. We gotta say bye to the kitty cat and we're out. Yeah, see you later, buddy. All right, see you later, Bella. See you next time. Hello, welcome to my humble abode. Gotta lock this. We're in New York. Just kidding, we're in New Jersey. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're staying. We have a whole condo to ourselves. So let's start in the kitchen. We have a very nice toaster. We're gonna make some toast, lots of snacks, Clorox wipes just in case, but like everything's real clean in here. It's nice. Got some Band-Aids. Some unicorn band-aids in case anybody gets hurt. Our shirts were delivered today right to our condo. And look at them. These are black light reactive. I Ghastly New York. Special for New York Comic Con. And we also have Demonstro black light hats. We have a living room with a TV. And look at this. That's it. See ya. I'm really comfortable. Bedroom number one. This is where Brian's gonna sleep. This is where Brian's magic is gonna happen. Yeah. Right here, we have a really nice painting done by the amazing Florencio Camden. I'm just kidding, that's probably from Home Goods or something. I don't even know who Florencio Camden is. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, come on in. I got something to show you. Look at this cock that crocked the legend. <laughs> you can't fucking do that. You're not allowed. Mm. 
right here is bathroom number one. That's where our body's gonna get clean because we're dirty. This is our bedroom. It's really big. There's a lot of room for activities, like too much room almost. Can I show you an impression of how Chris goes to sleep each night? First he does this, and then he does this. <laughs> Let's check out our view. How do I do this? Oh, it's these. Oh, I'm gonna get these stuck. These are gonna get stuck. Look, we can see into somebody's backyard. I hope they don't sunbathe naked out there. That would be awkward. We have a really big closet that we probably won't use. And <laughs> this is what I came here for. And then here's our bathroom. Luxurious. And this is where I'll be pooping. Our faucet's a little bit leaky. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> These gummies are stuck. <laughs> and I'm just trying to take one. I mean, can you help? Oh, I got some. Oh. Did you get too many? Did too many come out? Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Um, so I hope you like the tour. And um, I'm just really ready for New York Comic Con. So listen, it's time for you guys to leave. Like, get the fuck out of here. Don't come back. Seriously, like, go. me because <laughs> watching Heather try to park in that little parking space might have been the funniest thing that happened on the entire trip and it happened multiple times but I think I only captured it in this documentary once how do I do this <laughs> each and every time it was hilarious but the worst part about it is i look just as hilarious trying to do this as well but it's not in the documentary that little tiny space was re fucking ridiculous you gotta go this spot you gotta go this way you gotta go this way you gotta <laughs> you can't do the same thing. so the parking spaces were a whole debacle now you got it keep going there you go. You got it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. Am I going to hit this wall? No. no you're good. Don't really know how it got screwed up. I thought that communication was pretty straightforward, but I had like crazy con brain at the time, so maybe I wasn't very clear. All right, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Straight it up. Go, go, go. No, you don't have to do that. No, no, stop. What are you gonna hit me? I explain like, hey, we're gonna have two vehicles because we took the U-Haul to take all the stuff up and then we took Chris's vehicle. So I needed two parking spaces at the condo. Somehow the owner of the condo thought that since we rented two condos because we rented one for Noel as well from the same person, he thought that I needed just two parking spaces, period. But for Noelle, I needed a parking space too. So that was a whole thing. We somehow got stuck with this shitty, like teeny tiny parking space right next to the wall. And I felt like Austin Powers trying to park. I don't ever want to do that shit again. How was it though, going in the tightest space of all time? You're never drinking. What? The only reason I'm doing this is because you had a couple beers. I hate to tell you this, but the guy gave me seltzer water. There was nothing in it. I've been able to drive the whole time. Then, then why did you 
Because I wanted to see you do this. Fuck you. That's the tightest park job I've ever seen in my whole life. Look how tight this is. Tweet like a toy gift. You gotta come listen to this. Come on. One thing that I always make sure of when we go on really long trips is that we have access to a washer and dryer just in case. And we did, but the dryer was really ridiculous. Loosen the pad. Doesn't that sound like there's like shoes in it? It's just a couple t-shirts. Well, we're in Lincoln Tunnel traffic. We've been sitting here, what, like 10 minutes and we're not like, I can sort of see the top of the tunnel. Oh yeah, this is a freaking mess. For the convention, we'll definitely be leaving our condo a lot sooner. Well, no, I don't think so. I mean, well, maybe, yeah. Yeah, you're right. We would have to leave a lot sooner. I know I'm but right. But we're going to Uber in. I'm not doing this every day. This is yeah, insanity. This is a lot. You know, last year we showed up at like 5 o'clock in the morning and there was no traffic at all. We should have just done that. Our load-in time is 10 o'clock. We would have been sitting there five hours. Then and then we would have gotten five more away. hours. What we, well, really? They're turning people away who like aren't in at their proper time. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that so. would have sucked. Oh yeah. Big time. I'm so glad that didn't happen to us. How long have we been waiting? I don't know, like three or four years. It's been what, about two hours? Two hours. I okay. would say about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, how long have you been waiting here? You've been waiting longer, right? Like almost four. Four yeah. and a half hours? Oh my God. So the time right now is 12 11. So. Where'd Heather go? She's in the car. I don't know what she's doing. Mm. And I'm getting no service out here. So, like, all my stuff, when I pull my phone out of my pocket, all the stuff starts going off. That's how bad the service is. Can't here. watch any shows. Can't do time. nothing. No, it's terrible. Everything is terrible. But there's free Wi Fi, right? <laughs> free Wi Fi. And the Wi Fi is working? It's terrible. It's also <laughs> terrible. <laughs> That's also terrible. What are we calling? 12 11 right now. What time do you think we're actually going to get away One, from this? 1 30. 1 30. Yeah, another hour. So, 1 30, you think? Wow. We'll finally pull away at 1 30? All right. Check your clocks. Got to when we cut back on, do like the uh, one eternity later, <laughs> like the SpongeBob. One eternity later. Where are you going? Hi. Um, I'm going to grab a New York slice at Sbarro. Sbarro? No, I'm just kidding. But I'm getting like no service. I am in a you guys. You're in a meeting? Yeah, I'm in You're a meeting. You're in your meeting? Yeah. Well, I've been in a meeting for like an hour. I know. I, I have been listening to it, but... Wow. Anyway, I'm going to DoorDash us some pizza. Well, what time is it now? Last time I checked was 12.11. It is now... 12.58. 12.58. I feel like you. 12.57. I did the... I did the... Yeah. I did the watch thing. Right. Okay. Okay. Pepperoni. So get us food. It doesn't matter what food you get. I don't. At this point, I guess I don't even care. Okay. It's been an hour, a little, a little under an hour more than the last time we recorded. You said an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half. So 30 minutes. We're 30 in. minutes right now. You're still calling 30 minutes. So I'm look how fast they drive this same thing right now. I'm telling you, they kill somebody. That was almost there's, deep. There's absolutely no reason to drive that fast in here. Come on. Got to get it going. Got to get it going. One eternity later. Well, I was wrong. It is now 12, or, I'm sorry, 131. You thought it was gonna be 130. Yep. So what do you think now? Five o'clock. Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Good. Is it? Yeah, it's real good pizza. This is better than my favorite New York joint, so far. <laughs> you just you look at it, you mangled this thing. Oh, no. Really, you must be hungry. Go ahead and rate the pizza, Heather. What do you think? Okay, so I don't want to be harsh because the crust is a little bit like hard. It but is. I think, I think it might be because it's not like crazy warm as I'm eating it, but it's really fucking good. You really like it. I would it's give it a very like, sweet pizza. Rate it one out of 10. 10 being the highest, one being the lowest. 8.5. Wow, 8.5. It's really good. I'll give it a 7.5. Wow. I think it was good, but I don't think it was the best I've ever had. And yeah, see how tough it is? It's like eating a steak at the end. 
like a hard steak, not yeah. a soft one. Right. Nick told us that we would be in and ready to go at 30. We'd be strolling in. It is now a half hour over that time. We'll be lucky if we get in there by like 10. Ugh. No, I'm thinking closer to like 3.30 or 4. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. They're finally allowing us to go up. Oh, man. So it is now 12, I'm sorry, 2.14. 12.30 is what Nick called. No, I one thirty. Was it one thirty? Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, so not, he's not too far. A no. lot off. He's a lot off. We had time for pizza. We did. We had a big old pizza. Big old Joe's pizza is good. I'm still not done my second slice. Bye, motherfuckers! I cannot believe that we're going up. Hey. Hey. What are we doing? Well, we're finally getting our stuff loaded hey. in. We have a. Uh, we have some stuff here. We got some stuff over there. all this when we loaded onto the pallets the guys gave us shrink wrap and they were like oh yeah we can't shrink wrap your stuff you guys have to do it and i was like i don't know how to do this and nick was like here i got it and apparently he shrink wraps stuff all the time at his job and he was really proud of it damn that's a nice shrink wrap job that's crazy One thing that we didn't even talk about in this documentary, and I don't understand why, is <laughs> somehow when we got to load in, Nick was following us in our vehicle, and because of all the New York traffic, we got separated. So he was in the U-Haul behind us, and because of the traffic, he was like... I don't know. He got way, way behind us and his GPS got messed up in the Lincoln Tunnel and it like we didn't have service in there. So when he came out of the other side and actually got service, for whatever reason, it decided to tell him to go back to where we came from. He went back through the Lincoln Tunnel to New Jersey and then it told him to go, of course, through the Lincoln Tunnel again into New York City. It was a whole disaster. We waited, what, like 45 minutes for him? It was crazy. Well, we're back. Yeah, we parked. Javits is right there. We're getting um, vendor badges, exhibitor badges, and we're getting professional badges. Come on, let's walk, baby. everything together I couldn't be more proud that came out looking amazing setup looks amazing so far can't wait to see the finished product oh this is the finished product that's it now you got shit to go you're gonna have to beat that <laughs> sorry <laughs> The year before, we had like a really small table, but we upgraded big time this year, a 10 by 10 square in which we could put all of our things. And we still didn't have enough room for everything that took place with inside of our booth. Good job, Heather. Thanks. You did a very good job. Nick what and about I Nick? didn't help. We sat in the chair the whole time. No, Nick helped a lot. You did. 
but Nick did. Unbelievable. Did and no matter what I do, I always lose. Well, it's because you just don't do anything. <laughs> it's no matter what you don't do. They're coming for you. I'm very frustrated. Why? So we ordered some prints to take to, like some poster prints to take to our event on Saturday night. Walgreens canceled our order because their poster machine is down. So now we have to find somewhere else it is? Uh oh, what? what's going on now? It took away the third poster, so now I need to make the other poster. Well, this isn't the good way to start out day uh, th three. This, this is just how things go for us, so I'm not surprised, I'm just frustrated. So this photo editor is really ridiculous. I've had to like alter these images a thousand times. So they're gonna be really low res. I'm also trying to figure out where our DoorDash is. Oh, eight to 13 minutes. He is all the way up there, but earlier he was down here. Probably making other drop-offs. He's probably on a bike. Okay, well, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> I did not expect that, hello. Well, I knew how excited you were for your breakfast, so I had to record it. Omelette. That's mine. Pancakes. Oh my God, Nick, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Here you go. They put a little swirly on there for you. Yeah, they gave you a swirly. This is fruit for me. Oh yeah. Oh, Nick's, Nick's sausage. He's gonna put that in his mouth. Two sausages at once. And then this is yours. Whoa, is that a little ham ham? No, that's pork roll. That's pork roll? Yeah, because I know you like pork roll. We're having a feast, boys. Look at this. I'm taking a potato. Hey, that's mine. It's a little chilly. You might want to heat it up. One of the first things that we saw after we actually went and loaded in a bit was the Funko booth. And number one, it was really cool, but number two, Mike Becker came up to us and was talking to us for quite a while actually. And it was really cool to see him again. He's such a nice guy. And Nick never met him before, so it was a really cool experience for him. And that's what I'm all about. I'm all about experiences. So I'm really happy we're able to take Nick over so he could meet Mike Becker. So we just walked around the con and what happened? 
we sold out of our possessed ghastly. How fast? Less than a minute, it looked like. Jeez. That's crazy. Let's see. Thank you all for all of your support for Mischief Toys. It's amazing. It has sold out. It's 201 and it's sold out. Wow, it went up at 2 o'clock. I can't believe that. That's insanity. That's awesome. Crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. That was so weird. We've never done a drop like out and about. I'm always at my desk. Somehow. And we've never been there together, I don't think. No. For a drop. Ever. No. Because the one time we were both home was the gargoyle drop last year after New York and you were in bed with COVID. Yep. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Wow, what do you think of that? I'm walking around with a couple of sellouts. <laughs> We just finished up at the con. This is day two at the con, right? Yesterday was the first day. Yep. Yeah. Today's day two. How do you think we did today? Good. Good. Yeah. Real they good. Kicked some major butt. Scoot over, would you? Oh, yeah. There it is. Look at that. Day three of New York, and Brian Barrick has shown up. Hi. He's here. It's day four, we left on Monday. Oh, oh, it's day four. I'm excited, man. Day one of the con. Let's go get it. We're gonna go kill it, right? Yeah. How about you? I'm all right. square up and running. We are square for whatever reason will not connect. On day one, like 20 minutes before the con actually opened, I showed Brian and Nick how to actually use the square. I felt so bad because we were supposed to have like a Zoom call or something prior to the convention, but we did it in like five minutes as the convention was about to open. It was crazy. So they want a black light demonstrate pin. Yeah, and they want do a black light gas yeah. like, yep. So it's and just like checking out all night. Yeah, right. you can tap it, you can insert it, or you can swipe it. All right. And then, gosh, that was such an annoyance the entire time that we were at the convention because the Wi-Fi kept going down. The Wi-Fi situation was a mess. In fact, a couple of the booths nearby, they kept asking me if I wanted to chip in for Wi-Fi for businesses. So apparently you could do like an upgrade, but not enough businesses got involved. So therefore we didn't end up doing it, but I was ready and willing to pay an extra couple bucks to get the Wi-Fi connection because our situation there was horrible. And I know a lot of people lost sales over it. I think we actually Actually did pretty good, but next year I gotta figure something else out because it was a disaster. Are we in business now? I hope so. The patches are in a bubble mailer if anyone is interested in those. Gotcha. Pins are right there. Right. Right. Uh, hats are right, right there. Eight, eight minutes. Okay. Go, go pee. Can someone hang the two lanyards we have up? There he is. There we go. Man of the hour. That's right. And these Man are the hour. stars. This is the first time How I don't want to record anything. So I constantly handed Brian the camera so I could stay at the booth and sign and sort of meet everybody instead of just running around with the camera the whole time. So Brian captured the lines and I tried to include as much of the lines in this video as I could. He captured so much I had to condense it. I, in fact, I had to speed up some of the video because he captured so much. But that's how long the lines are. That's how many people were there for Mischief Toys and I could not be happier knowing that we have such an incredible fan base. So something very embarrassing happened to me at the convention. I was sitting in a chair at our booth getting ready for the very first day. I stood up to greet some people and also to sign something, I think. In that brief period of time of me standing, Nick took the chair away. So when I went to sit back down, I fell on the floor. And luckily somebody in line standing in front of our booth 
captured everything on his little GoPro camera. So just a big shout out to that guy for videotaping this. I really appreciate it. I wouldn't have had this captured any other way. My camera wasn't even running at the time, so it was just perfect that somebody actually had a camera hanging on them at the time of me falling down. So thank you, Nick. I really appreciate it. out of the convention there's all these like little bike carriages so it's like these bike guys with this carriage that's attached to it and they're asking like if you need a ride to I guess your parking garage or wherever you're going and some of them have like crazy lights others have like really loud music it's hilarious to see them competing for business What is happening? <laughs> this traffic is nuts. Like this is way, we've been sitting here, what, 20 minutes? I really gotta poop. You don't have any clue. I'm uh, right now, I'm not turtle heading. I'm turtle everything right now. It's not just his head. So I, you shit your pants. His front and back legs are out. <laughs> so how was it? Oh, I loved it. Fantastic. You loved I it. I loved it, dude. You loved I was, it. I went back and forth on that, like the whole floor like six or seven times. I, the only place I didn't go was the Funko booth. I was scared to look at it. Oh my God, I heard. I thought yeah. I was gonna become a Funko collector again. <laughs> Chris, you are too close to Heather, this guy I'm in front like, of us. I'm, you don't understand I'm sandwiched here. I got this car on my ass. You know what else is like sandwiched? You wanna believe my shit right yeah, now. Yeah, that between shit my between cheeks. your underpants. Was, yeah. So a super crazy day, first day of the con. I have a huge haul and I didn't even like buy any of that. <laughs> yeah, it was all, it was literally all like brought to me because I couldn't move from the table. Oh my God, that's awesome. That is so cool. That should be a shirt. It should. It should be a shirt, but they don't have any shirts this year. Can you imagine they made that into a pop? I'm telling you, man, that... I don't know why they don't. I don't know why either. Think about, here's, here's what I would say. Imagine if that was a pop and it was a 10 inch pop. Yeah. Itself. It's, oh my God, it would kill. You wouldn't even have it to put kill. an LE count on it. No, be gone. it would be, yeah, 100%. I would buy that all day. After day one was over, we went to the Plastic Empire slash Fig Pin Alliance Fest at Dave & Buster's in Times Square, and it was so much fun. Where are we headed off to now? Target. For what? Um, well, a square. Hey! Hi. For what? A square right because we had better luck with the phone square today I really want to get paper towels but I don't think it would be appropriate to bring them into a party do you uh, I don't know the last place I thought I'd be when I went to Times Square crazy I can't I can't believe this oh, this place Square reader and 
some masks. They only had little kid ones. Let's line up. You walk in and you get like the, these Dave and Buster's cards where you get a certain amount of points that you can go and play games with. You also get a goodie bag with a bunch of fig pins and then you get the opportunity to purchase some of the fig pins. Nick with the claw machine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I, I feel a little tired right now. Yeah. I didn't sleep very long last night. How no, many hours of sleep you get? I, you know what? I don't know. People were running around upstairs talking um, a lot. I don't know what was going on. There's underpants oh. on the floor in the bathroom. Why? I left them there for you to have something to stand on. No. Go clean your underpants up. How oh, embarrassing. Day, day, day four, two, five. Day five for five us. for us. Yeah. Day five for us. Day two of the con. Yeah. Day two of the con. Yeah, so today we're gonna go and we're gonna kill it. We're gonna right. kill it today. It's gonna be an exciting day. First I mean, day first day with signings, besides you guys. Right. Noel's gonna be there, so that's gonna be great. Yeah. Plus we're gonna get all the Friday, Friday traffic too. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a busy day. It's Let's see, the interesting thing will be, so we sold out yesterday, I think of everything in three hours, right? Yeah, something so like that. It'll yeah. be cool to see if it's the same today. Right, well, yesterday was so slow because of the machines that we were using. Yeah. They wouldn't allow us to sell as fast I think, as we wanted I, to think, I, think, I think we would have sold out in two hours yesterday. Had we had machines actually Machines, work. so we didn't do as many conversations, but that's right. fine. We want conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to build a Good relationship report. with you, yeah. yeah. So, and the people in mine were great too. I yeah. Like, uh, everybody was pretty happy. They were excited to just see the booth set up. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. It seemed yeah. like everybody got the stuff they wanted to get, the pins and the figures. And everybody was up on their feet. There was like no sitting around until we were ready to leave the con. <clears throat> you think it would be crazier today? I think it would be the same today. I think Saturday is the jump. I'm I'm going crazier today. You're thinking crazy. I today. think I think uh, people are like, all right, I'll just take off Friday, have a three-day weekend. Right, right. So right. they're going to come to the con today. I think today's going to be Brian's thinking day. Saturday. All right. Saturday is the jump. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Saturday's the jump. J uh, Chris, what do you think? I'm thinking, I, I feel like today is going to be pretty popular. Because last year it was Thursday was, was popular, Friday was popular, Saturday is Friday was the most popular. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Today is the crazy day or tomorrow? Today. 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 All right, so you know, I'm out. Yeah, well, I'll tell you why. I think that the people that come to the booth today, they get Noel to sign their stuff, right. are going to be happy. Yeah. Right. Then the pressure is on them to get back tomorrow 
to have Peter. Oh, Santa right, Claus. right, right. significantly less for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, that's fine, because we'll have an air reader. The thing is, the artist is going to come by set tomorrow. And then we got to set this thing on top and we can have the on it. Under here, we have a lot of stuff. This is where our pins are. All right, are we ready? Ready. All right. Excited. Noel is here. <laughs> the talent is here to sign off on all the gas leaks and the monstros. Another exciting day, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. When I bring, I'll bring people over. There's people that are going to run the line. I shit myself a little bit in the bathroom. <laughs> Day two, folks, day two. <laughs> I'll bring people over, like I'll bring over the group. Do me a favor, if anybody who lines up that's not, I'm not walking in front of them, to just say, hey, stay on the side, this guy will take you over the line. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah, we let's go. go. We're, we're, so we're gonna go. bring a couple. Special Position yourself. Of the day. So these, right here, are, are these black light up? reactors. Oh, okay. So this is what we've been using yeah. for the, the um, black light ones, but you can use whatever you nice. want. Okay. Come over. Uh, five to seven. Ooh, five to seven. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go. Ready? All right. Here we go. Good morning. Friday, Noelle showed up, and I've known Noelle since like middle school or high school, and I never realized it until people came up to the booth and started saying it. A lot of people thought that Noelle was me when they approached the booth, or that we are sisters. And it's really bizarre because I can sort of see it, but I think it's like the hair and maybe our facial features a little bit and the glasses. All right, Mischief Toys, day two, it's going down. We want to show you the line over here for these exclusives. This is ravenous, right? Ravenous. Start here. Friends all the way up. We saw Mike Becker again, and he ended up handing me a glory hole ticket. It wasn't actually a glory hole. I forget what they called it. It was like a prize window or something. And you go and you hand them your little ticket and they give you something through the hole and it can be like something fun, something funny, or a prototype. Tracks, from awesome. a long time ago. Yeah. I got a Mona Lisa. I got Mona Lisa. Okay, cool. And I got a really cool skeleton oh, Freddy pin. pin. Awesome. It is. Oh, I love these pins. If you got a gag, you get this pin. And it's LE500. Which one proto, is it? Proto the dog. Proto the dog pin? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, cool. Yeah, I love this. Mike Becker was so sweet to hand Heather a ticket so we could go and give it a shot. Again, what a stand-up guy, but I definitely felt like we were behind enemy lines. Not really Mischief Toys, but Castlecast. I felt like we were being looked at, and pretty much all of the people who worked at Funko that saw us knew exactly who we were, and it was a little bit weird. But they were all super nice, and I will always go and visit the Funko booth. But man, it was a little weird sometimes over there. <laughs> Thank you. 
then we went to the Seventh Inc. booth, and they were sort of like a couple aisles down from us last year, and their clothing really caught our eyes. We bought so much from them last year, so many pins, so many shirts, and so we really made it a point to go and visit them this year. And I'm just in awe by what they do. I love their style and we ended up spending quite a bit of money at their booth as well. I spent so much money at 7 Inc. 7 Inc. is amazing and I definitely want to collaborate with them in some capacity in the future. I love their artwork. I bought so many shirts. Last time we saw them in 2022, I bought a lot of items. This year, I think I doubled up. I bought so many pins, it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, it's day what? Four, three, what day is it? Yeah. Day three, we are coming back. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's get it started. We all ready? We're ready. Is us driving out for a little park spot. How are you driving out of there? It looks like the door thing's up. Well, can you put, can you open the garage door? No, I don't know I'm gonna how. smash my car to pieces. Oh my God. I got a lot of room up there, right? Yeah. As we pull out, Chris smashes. Okay, now go back. Oh my gosh. This parking space is ridiculous. It's supposed to rain today. Do you think everybody will make it out to the con even though it's gonna rain like madness? Oh, it is raining. Yep. Oh no. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if that'll stop. No, you know what? Maybe that'll make people go to the convention because they want somewhere to see. They want somewhere to like hang and so out. So they're all gonna be wet and fucking stinky. Yep. Some of those motherfuckers need a shower, so this might actually be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard someone say yesterday that it smells like farts in every aisle. <laughs> it wasn't every aisle people were farting, it was just me, and it took over the whole pod. Guess what? what? 13 minutes to get there today. What's because, up, bitches? Because it's um, Saturday, Saturday, so no one's on the road. Like Man, it we could have stayed to 8.30. <laughs> I could have slept in today. Yeah. I know, we could have slept in late. Why do we come early on the day with no traffic? <laughs> what a dumb piece of shit we are. Oh, you coming to this one or? Oh, uh, fine. Okay, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Day, day three. Look at that thing. You didn't see us? The see white that guy? one? No. That's, yeah. that's loopy. You're yeah. wrong. All right. Why is it? I think the word you're looking for is anime. Right. <laughs> so essentially, do you know how Super Saiyans work? Yeah. No. All right. Well, that's essentially like his God mode. Oh. Okay. It, they, after like a thousand plus episodes. Yeah. He became Gear Five. Oh. Okay. Nick, that's very interesting. Also. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> same, same here. Oh, it's a unicorn ice cream. So what's the plan for today? Ew, I don't want this here. It has what blood on it. It has blood on it. it was, no, it looks like poo. It was used in a murder. Yeah. It looks like poo. One thing well, I need to do is I need to alter that price list because I'm putting these in protectors. Right. You look like you're on your first day of school. On Saturday, we had Noel signing our artist. We had Peter, our voice actor, AKA the narrator, and Michael Duran, AKA Loco Duck, signing the prints and the figures, and it was just so much fun. So at one time, there were five of us signing. Noel, Peter, Michael, me, and Chris. It was nuts. It was really, really busy. So therefore, I couldn't really film anything that day. But that was okay, because I enjoyed the experience of being there instead of being behind a camera. All right, so how was the con? The con was big for a start. I mean, what a lot of people, and what a lot of people in of all shapes and sizes and, and, and costumes and everything. It was remarkable. And this was big fun, wasn't it? Oh, I loved it. This was just you had great. fun? I had a lot of fun. Yeah. 
that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, that was that was completely within my comfort zone to be able to do that. I think, honestly, the first like hour, I was feeling a little bashful. I wasn't quite sure, you know, how to sort of contribute in a meaningful way, and I was just beginning to warm up. I think when when everything began to kind of wind down a little bit, you know, at lunchtime kind of thing. But but that's cool. You did really well. You did. I did. Yeah. Oh, thank absolutely. you very much, Chris. That was great. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. I've never never done anything like this before, other than yesterday. But yeah, it was fun. Really? Cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it was here. very fun. And Michael, how was it going and grabbing coffees for people? Was that good? <laughs> hey, it was real fun. Very good. Uh, yeah. It was a good good uh, good time, good experience. <laughs> uh, you know, it was. Uh, yeah, really good, really good resume builder, and um, so you know, I'm really, uh, really excited for the future. I have a, I have a, another very important question. Uh -huh. What made you guys not go to a Harry Potter museum, <laughs> but instead visit a cat that is on TikTok? So when Noelle and her boyfriend Michael got to New York, they told me that they were going to go to the Harry Potter store. So the next day, I asked like hey how was the harry potter store did you love it and they were like oh actually we didn't go we saw jeremy the cat manager <laughs> apparently jeremy is a cat on tiktok who manages a store cat harry potter store which would you prefer to go and see well you see the cat is a uh is a manager uh-huh yeah uh, so you know he's pretty high on the corporate structure okay um and uh you know i'm hoping with this experience that i've gotten today uh hopefully we can impress the manager sure. maybe uh jeremy uh, and you know hopefully uh land some career opportunities. <laughs> so what do you think we skip the Mission Toys event tonight and we go visit a cat man? How's that sound? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm game for most things. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. Why don't we get shit-faced and go over and visit a cat man? So we can go to the party first yeah, exactly. and then, then and we then go, go, go That visit sounds like yeah, a better plan. We're, we're, so how we do today? Today Good. was day, what's the three. Day three. How'd day three go? Okay. I should it went well. It sure. went how I thought how it would. Saturdays are busy on like the busy floor, but they're not busy for sales for us for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. And other other toy vendors are saying the same. Wow, really? It's bizarre. I don't know if it's like a lot of autographs, a lot of people just browsing. I don't know. How you feel about today? Uh, today went well. Yeah. I was really happy. I was very proud. I was very proud today that we were able to get a groove. Everybody was able to sign. People were here and excited about seeing the artists, yeah. seeing the narrator. That, that made me happy because I wanted the both of them to be happy and excited. All right, how do you feel about today? Uh, Chris said it best. I mean, Noel and Peter seem very satisfied with today. I think that's a good sign. Good, good. It was a good day, guys. What did you hold on? All right. Now, what did you think about today? It was hectic. <laughs> there was a lot of signings happening. Yeah. Four different people signing at once. People wanted to have conversations. It was fantastic, best, but it got clogged fast. It did. The best part of the day is the disrespect this guy got from truck tourists. You got disrespected. I got disrespected by 100% salt. The whole company. You didn't get smiles. On I didn't box. get smiles on my box. Tried, Heather did. Tried, we were in line together. Tried. Heather got smiles. Right. I got truck. He spelled his this name wrong. Goes, we walk over to the booth. We walk over to the booth. He goes, watch this, Brian. He tries to get in the booth. Shut down. Uh, he tries to get in the booth. From 945 in the morning. They've been disrespecting me. But I just want to say something, because it's day three. We're coming yeah. to the end of day three. We're about to go to the party. Tomorrow is going to be a winding down. I just want to say you guys fucking killed everything. You guys are an amazing team. We could not have done sales, line control. Just the both of you fucking killed it. Didn't it? In a really big way. And I just want to thank you guys. No, no I mean, problem. I'll do a bigger thank you tomorrow yeah. when I'm nude. No problem. Uh, yeah. How's Heather feel about today? Um, how do you feel? Like, with Nick's asking everybody how they're okay. feeling today, and then I got the camera. Oh, how do you um, feel about today? we did good. We killed it. Yeah. Ready? And that's everything. And that's Heather. everything. And yeah, we're out. <laughs> Where are we headed? A bar. Night of mischief. The coolest fucking party with the hottest fucking girl in town. Hell yeah, amen. Chris. That chick's name is Nick Big Titty Marsh. How'd you know? <laughs> Preparing for a night of mischief was really stressful. I had a lot of anxiety. I didn't know how it was going to go. It could have either been really great and we could have had a really good turnout or people would decide not to show up and the event wouldn't be that great. 
but boy was it fucking awesome. It turned out way better than I ever expected. We had such a blast, we had people cheering. The only bad thing about this experience is that it was so loud inside of this bar. So that means next year we're gonna have to figure out a different way of doing things. Night of Mischief was so much fun. So it was an event that we held, I think we charged like $10 because we wanted to ensure that like people would actually show up because last year, I think we put maybe 50 spots on the website and only 30 or 40 people showed up and it was like a free event. So I sort of feel like putting a small price would make people actually like commit to it. So we didn't have that empty space. The turnout was insane. I expected a lot of people to no show, but I think we only had maybe like three or four people who didn't show up. It was packed. You got a gift. I got a what? You got a gift. We showed off all sorts of new previews, Pumpkin Ghastly, which has already been dropped. We showed off Mortem, who's a new character. He's like a death character. We also showed the original Demonstro, which originally was called Demontra. We changed him and obviously he looks like this guy now, but the original form is something that's very intriguing and it might be something that we see sometime in the future. But seeing the excitement firsthand and in person was mind blowing. And I expect that we'll have way more to share next year, a bigger show, a grander show, something that is unforgettable. My favorite part is that the bar was so loud that hardly anybody could hear. At one point, I say, everybody be quiet. Hey! Everybody! Quiet! Everybody was quiet. It was just the music that was really loud. So I don't even know why I said that. Like, you couldn't hear me anyway. Another funny thing that happened is the bar owner actually came up to me when I was like this close to being done. I think I had like one more thing to say. And he was like, hey, do you want to use the microphone? And I was like, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> it was just really like horrible timing.
that event was like a thousand times better than last year's. Yeah. That was amazing, that Joe. Oh shit, hold on, Jesus. hold on. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, we're gonna get killed. Here we go. What an event. Did you guys have fun or was it just <laughs> was it just me having fun? Dude, I don't remember like 30 minutes of it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a good portion where How I was you, like, Brian? I don't know where the fuck I'm at. You doing okay? <laughs> Brian's dead also. Oh my god, I had so much fun. Well, how do you guys think it went tonight? It was very loud. Yeah, it was. It was loud. I couldn't, like, when Heather was announcing the stuff, I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, I felt really bad. I yelled as loud as I could. Oh, God, it's, it's so humid. It's so humid in here. Oh, even my camera's getting all fogged up. Day four. It's day four for making mischief. New York Comic Con 2020, what is it, what year is it? 2023. 2023. We had a long night. What did we do last night? We had our night of mischief. Yeah, we had a blast. We so a bunch fun. of stuff. It was so much fun. I had, uh, I watched Heather dance a lot. Gave away a lot watch. of stuff. You looked at me one time when I was singing Eminem and you rolled your eyes and turned back to other people. I would never roll my eyes at you when you're being yeah. hip-hop, Heather. How are we doing this? Oh, God. Oh, how do those guys do this every day? You got it? So <laughs> Watch out for this next stair. It's the one I always fall on. <laughs> we have to take Van because we are... Uh, we're going to load in today. Load in all of our stuff. So we're leaving our car behind. And Brian and Nick, they're already on their way to the event. So they're getting there to set up. We woke up late today. It was a pretty uh, fun night, but we stayed out way too late. The expectation was 10. I think we stayed out till 11.30. And it's not because of me this time. It was because Heather was dancing way too much and hanging out with everybody. But I approved because it was fun. Comic Con glory hole. I told you I found glory holes everywhere I went. So basically, when you went to the New York Comic Con store, you could purchase a little token. And I think one of them was like $5, one was 10, and one was 20, maybe. And you could purchase them and then stand in line and go to this little like window where they would take your token and then they would give you like merch based off of the token that you handed them. And I went back like two or three times and I got so much New York Comic Con stuff, it was ridiculous. I'm about to, I'm about to fuck this box up right now. <laughs> Chris has just been asked to draw a ghost. Oh, no. 
a lot of pressure. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Why does he have arms? What do you mean? He's got little ghost arms. Yeah, but the Empire done that way, like 25 inch. And, uh, okay, that's like cute. <laughs> well done. You look like that. It's either his tail or his boner. I'm not sure which one it is, but you got that. That's what you got. We got a little private signing with Connor McConnell of Abominable Toys. I kept missing him at his booth, and I messaged him, and I was like, hey, when are you going to be at the booth? And he ended up just coming to us, which was really sweet of him. I didn't expect it at all, but he is, like, one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Mischief Toys is now in the Beckett database. Unbelievable. Thank history. you, dude. You're the best. History. Thank you. Thank you. History. History. Right there. Thank this you. This guy is the number one. Number one, number dude. One right here. Uh, Sorry, Scott. Number one van? Number one yeah. van Can right we here. write number one van Scott. on that box? Scott. Sure. Scott. Yeah, let's write number one Scott. van on that box. Eat it, Scott. Yeah, yeah. there Across the way, we made some friends over at Vertebrae 33. They are awesome. Chris disappeared one day for like 30 minutes to an hour. And I was like, where the heck is he? Well, it turns out he was just across, across the, the little walkway at Vertebrae 33's booth. And he was just buying all sorts of stuff and talking to him forever. It was so cool. So we've been waiting here for how long? Probably 20 minutes, I think. You think so? No, yeah. it's gonna be longer. It's 6, it's only, it's only 6 30. I think, yeah, I think 20, at least 20 or 30 minutes. 20 or 30. This wave number two. Right, and look. That's it's a freaking line going it's, out the door. It's insanity, yeah. Oh, you can see it No, I mean, like, it's yeah. all halfway oh, yeah. down the convention. Yeah, it's not. No, just happy to get it loaded up. Yeah, right. Do we have any more, we don't have any more full? Uh, I think one, one or two more. Really? Yeah, it's like this. And then, the, you know, then the structure and other stuff. Right, right, right. Waiting for the elevator was insane. I think we had like four or five trips down the elevator after we packed up and the lines were so long because there were like one or two elevators that were out of service. So everybody was using like one elevator and the escalators were not even running like why would they turn them off it was it was just so inconvenient and made no sense the last trip of our new york comic-con exit oh my god you think this is the last trip yeah. I fucking hope so. So New York Comic Con is officially over. We have our last part stacked up here, ready to roll out. Brian did a phenomenal job of getting everything together to get us out of here really easy and smooth. Brian is the man. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't have done as well as we did in terms of getting out of here. Actually, both Nick and uh, Brian were both incredible on this trip. And I don't think we could have asked for a better help. These guys are just amazing. They're such good friends. Appreciate all their support. I am tired. Like, incredibly tired. Last day, we're leaving. We are leaving, I can't wait. Can't wait? 
I'm tired. I want to sleep for like three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, I want to sleep. Everybody's gone now. Brian left this morning. Nick left yesterday afternoon. Now we're clearing out completely, loading the truck up. Game is over. Look at that. Brian's room. Their bathroom. Nick's room is all broken down. And of course, our room is now all broken down. Look at all this. You want to know something gross? I clogged the toilet this morning. Again? That's it's like the third time since you've been here. All right, we're here completely out of the apartment. It's over. This is it. It's done. NYCC is completely over. All the packing for NYCC is over. The only thing that's left is putting everything inside of this van away, which I'm not looking forward to. No. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us, both in Castlecast and Mischief Toys. We appreciate you. This was Making Mischief 2. Is it 2 or part 2? T-O-O. Oh. Yeah. Like, like who's, limited 2? Well, like look who's talking to. This New York Comic Con experience was even better than last year. Having our own booth was definitely a big plus. I know next year we want to grow it and have a bigger booth. I know we want to have even cooler products. And I know for a fact we're going to have an even better night of mischief. And we hope that you guys can join us in person because we would love to meet each and every one of you. And the narrator and Noel, hopefully we can get them back as well. Heather and I really appreciate all of the support that's shown toward Mischief Toys and Gas of Cast. It really means a lot to us. Growing this business is not easy, but with a customer base and fans like you guys, it makes it way easier. Thank you for showing us your support in everything that we do. It means the world. Bigger and better things next year. All right, so we're finally back home in Maryland from New York Comic Con, and our biggest fan was home to greet us. We got home to find that we had a bunch of new gasolies delivered to us, and we had to bring those all in, which are there, and then we had to bring in all the stuff from the van and put that all inside. So there's a huge mess in there right now. It's a complete disaster. So we have this huge mess, we have to clean everything up, and I'm tired. We delivered the van back too, to U-Haul, thank God. The whole documentary is over, and we had enough fun until next year, right? Yeah. All right, open that shirt up, and I'm gonna end by just going into your shirt, because you got your I Love New York shirt. Go ahead, that's, you... that's the whole shirt. Shh, open it yeah. up? Yep, yeah, move your hair, there you go, and this is where it ends. And that was Making Mischief, Two! Two!